I'm Sarah Thompson, the Executive Director for the Southwestern Commission Council of Governments. The Mountain West Partnership is grateful to the Cherokee Preservation Foundation for funding this video series. Welcome to Mountain West, located in the beautiful Smoky Mountains of Western North Carolina. Here, you can put your roots down and grow your business. Girls, they've been to the beauty parlor. See those highlights? Where can you get that? Where do you get highlights like that? Hello, I'm Steve Whitmire. I own Ridgefield Farm in Brasstown Beef. We're here located in extreme southwestern North Carolina in Cherokee County. And as you can see in the background and around here, we're in the cattle business. So I want to introduce Tim Dietz. Okay. Tim and his wife Natalie and two children are moving here from South Texas. We've been corresponding about our opening for our farm manager at Ridgefield Farm position. This ranch is kind of a cattleman's paradise. You can see the cattle behind us and they're, they're fat and happy. We think it's going to be a really nice place to raise kids and, and have our family. So we're excited to be here. So it's a great place to be for a lot of different reasons. It's just down the road from us, a couple of miles, is the John Campbell Folk School. So we get a variety of people coming in there to learn a lot of different crafts of all kinds. Painting, carving, making musical instruments anything you can imagine. So we get a real interesting mix of people that come to our area because of the attractions. For people that want a high quality of life that involves healthy living, this is a great place to be. Those people that are sort of interested in winemaking or in agriculture might consider growing grapes. Western North Carolina, besides its absolute beauty, is an area that's rich in various soils and rich in various elevations, which means that you can grow almost any type of grape that's produced in this country. Our wines are produced and then sold at our wine tasting room, which is on Route 64 east of Hayesville, approximately seven miles. This furniture plant was sitting here for several years becoming dilapidated and a group of us got together and thought why not use it for agricultural purposes. So we thought it would be a win-win for, for the farmers and for Jackson County. I think moving forward we have great potential to increase our markets and develop a brand that's unique to our area and uh, hopefully we'll be able to, to utilize more of the facility as we expand and, and, and continue to grow. My name is John Queen. We're at the Western North Carolina Regional Livestock Center in Canton, North Carolina. It's been a great impact on the economy here and the help to the producers. We don't have but approximately 65 to 75,000 head of cattle here in the western part of our state. But we still got to have a home for them, we still got to have a place to market them, and this has been a great asset for those people. So our whole business here, where I honey, started with two beehives that I bought my wife for Christmas and it has now grown to over 200 hives that are scattered throughout the county. We make honey, we use the beeswax to produce lotions, soaps, lip balms, and we're just continuing to grow. In 2014 we decided we needed more space to work out of so we built a, a bigger building and a retail store attached to it. And we still do the festivals and, and uh, have a good online business as well.
Mountain West is where you can put your roots down and grow your business. For more information, visit GoWNC.org. 